Right now at noon, two hostages are free from Hamas after deadly strikes in southern Gaza. This as the fighting there ramps up. Plus, the Kansas City Chiefs are back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions today after an overtime nail-biter in Las Vegas. This is News 3 Now at noon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Breider. We begin with breaking news in southeastern Dane County. That's where emergency recruits are responding to a large fire in the town of Albion. This is brand new video from the property just west of the interstate on County Highway A north of Edgerton. Our crew saw black smoke for miles leading up to the scene. Officials say a home went up in flames around 7 this morning. It was such a big fire, mutual aid was called in from surrounding communities. There's no word yet on the cause of the fire or if anybody was hurt. Stay with News 3 Now and Channel3000.com for updates. Developing now in Grant County, the Fenimore Police Department says a man was killed in a crash. It happened at the intersection of Lincoln Avenue and 12th Street last night. According to the city's Facebook page, a pedestrian was crossing the street when a semi headed south on 12th Street hit and killed him. A witness reported the crash to police and the tractor trailer was located on Highway 18 in Fenimore's Industrial Park. Right now, some Prairie police are investigating after a shots fired incident. Officers responded after reports of gunfire around 7.30 Saturday night. They say two people who knew each other started fighting in a parking lot. A group then surrounded them. At one point, someone fired multiple rounds after which people fled the area and police were called. To Houston, Texas now, where a mega church was the scene of a shooting. Police say a woman in her 30s wearing a trench coat entered the building yesterday with a long rifle and child by her side. She started shooting before two off-duty police officers working church security fired back, killing her. The five-year-old by her side and a 57-year-old man were also wounded in the shootout. Both were taken to the hospital. Police say the shooter threatened that she had an explosive, but the bomb squad found nothing. This afternoon, Israel is celebrating the rescue of two hostages taken by Hamas four months ago. The two men, a 60 and 70 year old, are said to be in good condition today and are now in a Tel Aviv medical facility. Israeli officials say soldiers found them in an apartment in Rafah overnight during an assault that Palestinian officials say killed more than 100 people. But I must say that the job is not done. We are happy today. But it's not a, it, we, we didn't win. As the fighting ramps up in Rafa, family members have urged mediators to do everything they can to bring the remaining hostages back home before it's too late. Continuing coverage now in Rock County, where cleanup work is underway after a historic EF2 tornado last week caused damage to infrastructure near Evansville. Residents who live near Highway 59, Caledonia Road, and Gibbs Lake Road should expect power outages off and on this week. Crews say there's still a lot of tornado debris in the area, so cleanup may take a while. The National Weather Service estimates wind speeds were maxed out around 130 miles per hour. To your first war in weather now, meteorologist Jacob Montesano has a look at your certified most accurate forecast and much quieter now, Jacob. Yeah, but I do want to mention that you, you said that wind speeds maxed out around 130 miles per hour. That is going to be official, so the final rating is an EF2, and that's very close to an EF3 level. It just shows you that this was no ordinary tornado, despite it being the first tornado in Wisconsin in, the, in uh, February in history. Now, here's a look at the current conditions. As you mentioned, Josh, much calmer going forward. Uh, it's been very, fairly comfortable the last couple of days. Right now we're seeing a current temperature of 42 degrees with plenty of sunshine. Current temperatures across Dane County in the middle 40s in the western portion of the county and zooming further out. There are a few other locations in the middle 40s, kind of between uh, around 39 to 45 degrees for our entire area. Looking at the current radar, we are seeing dry conditions as well. And for the most part, much of the Great Lakes and Midwest is dry, but there is quite a bit of rain in the southeast and over the next couple of days the northeastern portion of the United States will be dealing with a winter storm but our area is looking pretty quiet at least until the middle of the week we do have a chance of some rain and snow overall it doesn't look to be too dramatic but I will talk more in detail about that coming up a little bit later all right Jacob thank you well, for the third time in five years, the Kansas City Chiefs are Super Bowl champions. The Chiefs became the first team to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls in 19 years. This after last night's thrilling overtime victory over San Francisco, 25-22. 
At just 28 years old, Patrick Mahomes is now the, just the fifth quarterback in the NFL history to win three titles. Mahomes had 333 yards passing on the night and two touchdowns, including that game winner. Well, the victory for Kansas City means a former Wisconsin Badger is taking home a second Super Bowl ring. At just 23 years old, linebacker Leo Chanel is already a two-time champion. Chanel started over half of the games he played in since he was drafted in 2022. And we talked to his high school coach who tells us that through all Chanel's accomplishments, he hasn't changed one bit. He is back quite a bit. You know, we get a chance to talk to him, and he's still kind of the same guy. He's full of energy. Uh, he's a very positive person. Um, he was a kid that back in high school that he was always willing to help out no matter what it was. He says a lot. He's so grounded, and it's one of the best things about him. Chanel finished last night's game with a forced fumble, a blocked extra point, and six tackles. Congrats to him. We'll still ahead for us this afternoon how the U.S. Postal Service is honoring people who helped slaves escape to freedom via the Underground Railroad. Plus, Elon Musk being ordered to testify on his purchase of Twitter. Those details and more in your Money Watch. Don't delay. The Brothers Main President's Day sale is happening now. Save storewide on top brands like Whirlpool, KitchenAid, Maytag, and Amana. We have the area's largest selection and lowest prices guaranteed. Feel like family. Brothers Main. Garage doors always seem to break at the worst time. That's why here at Precision, we're never going to charge you extra for nights and weekends. We always offer same-day repairs or next-day new doors. That's the Precision problem. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy? Are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. President's Day mattress sale is the best time to save big on a new Tempur-Pedic mattress. Save up to $300 and pay only $46 per month for a queen Tempur-Pedic mattress. Plus, save $200 more when you upgrade to an adjustable base set. Tempur-Pedics are designed to make aches and pains a thing of the past by supporting the body as no other mattress can. The President's Day mattress sale, only at Steinhoffels and Steinhoffels.com. some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. Try it for only $14.95 this Valentine's Day. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. Super Bowl 58 wrapped up last night with the Kansas City Chiefs winning the Vince Lombardi Trophy in overtime. Every year, Americans spend billions of dollars on snacks consumed during the game, so President Biden used the occasion to call on companies to stop shrinkflation. That refers to when businesses reduce the size of their products without lowering the price. In a video posted on X, the president said the practice is a ripoff and said companies should do the right thing. Billionaire Elon Musk has been ordered to testify again in the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission probe of his 2022 purchase of Twitter, now known as X, for $44 billion. Musk had refused to do an interview back in September, though a federal judge ruled over the weekend that the Tesla CEO must appear. 
The two parties have a week to agree on a date and location or else the federal judge will decide. And as the country continues to celebrate Black History Month this February, the U.S. Postal Service announced a series of stamps honoring 10 people who assisted with the Underground Railroad. That's the secret network that helped enslaved people escape to freedom. Among those honored are abolitionists Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass. The Forever Stamps will be on sale next month at the U.S. Postal Service's website and at your local post office. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Matt Piper. At the noon hour, here's a look at the latest stock report. Great start to the week. Dow is up 212 points, NASDAQ up 67 points, and the S&P 500 up 14. Well, straight ahead, Pam is tracking today's ag prices, and we have your full first warrant forecast. Then later on Live at 4, movie critic Will Loper reviews Turning Red and previews what's new on streaming. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized sale, going on now at Wanakee Furniture ETC. There's never been a better time for a fresh start with Feldco. Jumpstart your home's upgrade this month with 40% off Feldco windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Warmer weather's on its way. Tap your to-do list early and enjoy comfort and curb appeal all season long. Plus, no interest until 2025. Let the experts at Feldco upgrade your home this season. But hurry, 40% off won't last long. Call now. Call 866 for feldco News 3 Now and Vortex present Spirit of Service, honoring those who've made a real difference in our community. Do you know a veteran whose actions have been a positive force in the area? If so, nominate them for the Spirit of Service Award. Log on to channel3000.com, nominate a veteran, and tell us why they're a pillar in our community. A winner will be selected on March 11th. Help us celebrate our hometown heroes. The Spirit of Service Award, presented by Vortex. To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized sale, going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. South Central Wisconsin, where people unite for a brighter future and businesses thrive. And the food, oh, the food. Resilient, unwavering, always moving forward. Now, here's the deal. We've got our fair share of challenges, but here's the kicker. We own up to them. We advocate for change. We celebrate the good and we fix the bad. No settling, no backing down. That's our commitment to you. News 3 Now, always moving forward. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Welcome back. Let's check in now with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. Hi, Pam. Happy Monday. Hello, Josh. Yeah, it is a happy Monday. If you're a Chiefs fan, really happy. I'm happy because I had to use the shades running around town today. I was out at the Wisconsin Farm Bureau Federation's uh, headquarters on the west side of Madison talking about the rollout of the Ag Road Improvement Program. It is uh, underway. Uh, what they were stressing is that farmers impacted by poor roads in front of their farms are the ones that really are going to have to start to do the storytelling now. Uh, they only have $150 million that they're going to have in 2024 for road improvements. Jerry Durr, who's president of the Wisconsin Towns and Counties Association from Bristol, admitted that that's not going to get the job done, but he said it's a start. He said if they can gather in enough data, enough stories about how poor roads are in Wisconsin, it will help tell the story down at the state capitol when they go to solicit more funds. 
So the application process is open. But again, I want to stress that this is about farmers and landowners, uh, rural business folks that are impacted by poor roads. You are going to have to fill out the paperwork, work with your local officials to get that submitted to the towns and counties, which will have a panel of evaluators that take a look at that, working hand in glove with the Department of Transportation. It was nice to see Joel Nilsestun, a Deputy Secretary from Department of Transportation at the event. Everybody's excited about getting the process is going. Application deadline for those uh, road improvement no monies is April 1st, and I want to remind you, the very first round, they're only going to have $50 million available. Then they'll allow people to resubmit uh, later this spring into early summer for an additional $100 million in uh, monies for those road improvement opportunities. Uh, I asked Jerry Durr, I said, how do you like this weather for rural roads? He said, this is not good. Uh, no freeze, uh, no frost, uh, that makes it very difficult for those roads to stay in decent condition. Today, we've got higher commodity prices all the way around on the midday, corn, beans, as well as dairy. Barrel cheese in Chicago was up a penny and three quarters at 159 and a half. 40 pound block cheese on a Monday up a penny and a half at 158 and a half. Double A butter up two and a quarter cents at 271 and a half per pound. Dairy, Josh, was one of the big uh, voices heard during this road improvement announcement today. Uh, Rebecca Sweeney with the Wisconsin Cheesemakers Association reminds people 80 Eight million pounds of milk move in Wisconsin every day on our rural roads. That's another big voice that uh, wants those roads to be improved. So the process is underway. Yeah, every time I see one of those milk trucks uh, moving along, they're quite busy, Pam. Yeah, they are. Lots of trips in a day for sure. All right. Well, hey, enjoy that sunshine. I agree. It is nice to see you on a Monday. You bet. See you tomorrow. All right, Pam. Let's check in now with Jacob for your complete first warn forecast. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Josh. Here's a look at the three things you need to know for the rest of this week. We're going to stay mild through the middle of the week, but we are expected to see colder temperatures for the weekend with a good chance of some rain and snow Wednesday night into early Thursday. So right now we aren't seeing any precipitation and we likely aren't going to see any precipitation for at least the next 48 hours. So this is Wednesday at 5 p.m. This is kind of our first chance of seeing that precipitation going forward and we could see some light rain, maybe some light snow move into the northern portion of our area during the evening. But during the overnight hours, we are likely going to see some precipitation move through our area and it will be a mix of rain and snow. Now, the further south you're located, the best chance you will see the rain, but also the further south you're located, the more precipitation you will see. So again, this will mostly be during the overnight hours, but it will likely start out as rain and transition into snow, maybe all snow for areas north of Dane County. And during as we get closer towards sunrise Thursday morning, it looks like it will transition to all snow and it is possible that snow could be heavy at times, but this is not expected to last very long. It actually will mostly last between sunset Wednesday and sunrise on Thursday and it should clear out by Thursday morning, but we could see a couple of inches of snow. Now, my guess is it will, will probably be a little bit less than this, but an inch or two is definitely possible by Thursday morning, but once again, much of the precipitation will fall during the overnight hours Wednesday. Now, as far as just actual precipitation wise, we could see quite a bit uh, to the south, especially in northern Illinois, uh, as some of the rain could be heavy at times, but also a lot of this will mostly be in the form of rain, whereas the snowfall looks like it will mostly be later, but not going to contribute as much to the overall precipitation. So just a mix of rain and snow Wednesday night into Thursday should be cleared out by Thursday afternoon. Looking at the uh, forecast for today, this afternoon we'll have sunny skies, high temperatures in the middle to lower 40s, pretty similar to what we're seeing right now. As we head into the overnight hours, we'll see lows in the 20s with uh, temperatures tomorrow a bit colder than today. Also, we'll see a little bit more cloud cover. High temperatures will be in the middle 30s to around 40. But as we look at the next 10 days, we're going to remain mild through Thursday. But then for Friday and Saturday, we may finally be back below average for the first time in almost a month. Now for next Next week, we are going to see temperatures just slightly above average with highs in the middle 30s. But in general, the temperatures aren't going to change too much for next week. At least it doesn't look like it at this time. So here's a look at the 7 to 10 day forecast for Madison. Mix of rain and snow likely Wednesday night into early Thursday. And then as we get towards Friday, we have another chance of snow showers, a pretty light chance with some breezy conditions over the weekend as temperatures cool down. And then for the middle of next week, we have some more chances of snow showers, but it doesn't look to be pretty significant. So although we could see some heavy rain, maybe some heavy snow at times, Wednesday night. It's going to be very quick 
And as I have already mentioned, it will mostly be during those overnight hours. So we do have precipitation in the forecast, but I think the bigger story will be the temperatures will finally get back to below average. First time in, I believe it was January 19th or 20th, around that time, which was the last day uh, we were below average. It's been very mild the last uh, few weeks. Yeah, and you think about the end of the 10-day forecast, we're already at the end of February right there, too. So <laughs> Yeah, March is, March is right around the corner, if you could believe it. Crazy. All right, Jacob, thank you. Howard's in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen now with how you can take advantage of nature's goodness. If you've walked through the produce aisle lately, then you've probably noticed that many of our root vegetables are at rock bottom prices. You know, like potatoes, carrots, rutabagas, parsnips. The reason is they're so abundant right now, which drives down the price. So what do you say we take advantage of them by cooking them up a whole new way? We start off by cutting a few potatoes, carrots, red onions, parsnips. They're the ones that look like blonde carrots and rutabagas into two inch chunks. And if you're not familiar with rutabaga, they're the ones that are about the size of a softball and have a purplish blush to them. Now, we toss them with some olive oil that we season with a bit of garlic powder, salt, pepper, and a sprig of fresh chopped rosemary, and we roast them off. You see, rosemary is the herb that looks like a pine tree. If you see it at the market, pick it up. Otherwise, dried is fine. Do these look good or what? The reason I like to roast them is that it brings out their natural sugars. The step-by-step -step recipe for our roasted root vegetables is online now so you can take advantage of their abundance and low prices. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Kelly, you want to try these? Where today we found a basic yet outrageous way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Straight ahead at noon, Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. Email those questions right now to tips at channel3000.com and we'll get to them next. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Race the savings for these hot deals at Menards. All prices after mail-in rebate. Get to work with these Ryan Blaney Performance Gloves. Just $4.99. Save $4 on diesel exhaust fluid and get this multi-system fuel additive for free after rebate. These hot deals won't last long. Race in before time runs out. Sign up for Menards emails to get more hot deals. Plus, the weekly flyer right to your inbox. Race the savings now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Spectrum Internet delivers with fast and reliable speeds nationwide, so there's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Now get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and a Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com or call 844-242-1479. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security and privacy for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 with advanced Wi-Fi and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Start saving today. Go to Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, call 844-242-1479, or scan the call now. Are you searching for a fresh career? Then join the team at Chalk D Building Systems. We're expanding, now with two Sun Prairie locations, and we're looking for individuals to join our team as assemblers, material handlers, order pickers, and machine operators. Chalk T Building Systems competitive pay starts at $22 per hour, plus comprehensive benefits. Three shifts are available with overtime potential, and you'll become part of our 100% employee-owned team. Make your next career move on the careers page at ChalkD.com. <laughs> Yo, you think Dallas is Power 4 gonna drop 30 tomorrow? Why are you tripping? Did you see his mom made a post about going to the game? What? Hold up. Is mama gonna be there? He's been averaging like 34 points a game when she's there. At least 40 when she's down there Jumatron. He don't like to let his mama down. <laughs> pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. 
Welcome back at noon. Lisa Briggs with the Bruce Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. Remember, you can email them to tips at channel3000.com. Lisa, good to see you. A big weekend you're coming off of. It was. I saw lots of viewers stopped by the uh, buyer booth at the Garden Expo. Um, and so it's good to say hi to everybody. And but now we're all exhausted. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> now you're moving forward now to... Now moving forward on to spring, yay! Yes, we're all excited for that. All right, what do you got in front of us? So I brought a little, uh, this is a florist azalea. So azaleas can be hardy here in Wisconsin. These type that you get around this time of year, uh, Christmas through Easter, are not hardy. They're just meant to be inside and to enjoy the flowers. But it's an awfully pretty pink and just in time for Valentine's Day. I was gonna Day. say, it's Valentine's Day week. Galentine, Palentine, Valentine. There you go. I love it. <laughs> it's like a whole couple of days worth of in times. The week of love. All right, <laughs> let's go. get to the questions now. We're going to start with Lisa from Judah. Lisa asks, how do I rejuvenate 20-year-old red and yellow dogwood bushes? Okay, so red and yellow twig dogwoods are really popular plants around here. They have really intensely colored bark. And so even in the winter when the leaves are off, they look really great. So when they get old though, you can cut them all the way back. It just, it takes them a while to get past that. So what I would recommend that Lisa does is that for the next couple of years, that she prunes out about 25 or 30% of the branches that are the oldest branches every winter that will keep some sort of form while she's growing through and that will also stimulate new growth to come from the roots and it's really easy to tell which branches are the oldest because they're the less colorful oh, okay. so new branches are really brightly colored but then they get started the bark ch changes character and they take on less color as they get older so just clip those out all the way to the ground we all right. call that renewal pruning oh i like that name there we go all right jennifer madison asks what is the best way to start milkweed especially orange milkweed so milkweed is a plant that needs from seed needs what we call stratification so that's a cold period so as soon as um snow is off the ground and it started to soften a little bit you can broadcast seed uh the milkweed uh right into the garden um so that's generally early to mid-March is a good time to do it. The other thing I see people do who want to get a bit of a jump start on it is they um, sow it in milk cartons. So empty milk cartons, put some holes in the bottom, put some planting medium in there, put it in, and then they put them outside. Okay. So they really need that dormancy period. They need that cold weather to have the best germination rates. All right, I think we got time for one more yep. question from Kurt. Kurt says, my rhubarb has started to come up with the warm weather. Is mm -hmm. the cold weather going to hurt it? You know, rhubarb is su such a vigorous plant, and plants are really used to this, you know, warming and thawing. Um, so I think your rhubarb will be fine. I think that's been the concern, though. You know, with I think it is with a lot of plants. Yeah. The more development there is, then followed by cold period, the more chance there is for um, some kind of damage. The little bit of stuff that's coming out of the ground right now is not going to be damaged by the more the more typical um, normal temps that are to come. All right. As always, Lisa, good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you, too. Let's get to Jacob now with a final look at your forecast. Thanks, Josh. For this afternoon, along with tomorrow and Wednesday, we're going to remain dry with temperatures still above average. But then we are going to see uh, rain and snow likely Wednesday night into early Thursday. And that will cool things off a little bit for the weekend. We'll have high temperatures around 30, maybe upper 20s for Saturday. May finally start to see those temperatures below average. But then they're going to warm up a little bit uh, for the beginning and for most of next week as we'll see highs back in the middle 30s. We also have a few chances of snow beyond Wednesday night, both Friday and then again for Tuesday night into Wednesday of next week. All right, Jacob, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy that Sunday or sunshine. <laughs> Enjoy your Monday.